All right, so it is my pleasure today to be able to congratulate our Teacher of the Year for Desert View Elementary. Uh, our teacher that we selected this year is Mrs. Kara Frazier. Uh, her nomination form uh, came back um, and the, what we voted on was that she's a kind, caring, and positive leader in the school. Uh, that she has this year specifically put in a lot of extra effort uh, running our fun having committee and really trying to boost morale in the building. Uh, other comments about Kara uh, from her co-workers. She has an infectious positivity. Uh, she inspires her students with her enthusiasm. Uh, she keeps kids engaged both in person and in, uh, in, and in the CDL learning. Um, she is a go-to for staff in general uh, with instructional methods. And uh, she has taken on many different leadership roles in the building. Uh, through leading assemblies, again, like I said earlier, through the fun having activities, and then participation with anything that's asked for. So congratulations to Kara Fraser. School District for 11 years. Of those 11 years, they have all been here at Highland Hills teaching either first grade or second grade. She spent her very year, first year in education as a kindergarten teacher in Umatilla. She is a Hermiston graduate. Lena not only in normal years is energetic and passionate about teaching and learning, but this year especially she has found a way virtually to inspire a love of learning with her students. Lena continuously reaches out to for students and their families to assist with any help they may need. She is always willing to step in and help out where help is needed. She is positive, flexible, and easily adapts with all this continuous changing and navigating of our virtual learning. She is a person who people seek in our building for support and advice. She is always willing to be a mentor and support new teachers coming to Highland. We are so thankful to have Lena as a Highland Hills Husky. Congratulations, Lena. I am excited to introduce Madeline Moore as Rocky Heights Educator of the Year. She is one of our kindergarten teachers and she is a veteran teacher. She taught in Idaho for many years before coming here, so she brings a lot of experience under her belt. She is one of those teachers that kids will remember forever, even though she is their kindergarten teacher. She really facilitates the love of learning and high expectations, and she teaches kids that they are responsible for their learning. Even in kindergarten at five years old, you can take responsibility for your learning. She is always there for her students and their families. Um, she is a leader on our staff. She is very supportive of every staff member and she makes Rocky Heights really great. So thank you, Madeline, and congratulations. definitely a star teacher who works her tail off to be the best for her students every single day. Amber is one of those teachers that goes above and beyond to get to know her kids and family. Um, she has kids in high school that still come back and hug her and once they're her kid they're always her kid. Mrs. Milligan is very deserving of being Sunset's Teacher of the Year. She is so compassionate. She shines through all her teaching including CDL. Um, not only is she a caring and loving teacher, but she is an amazing person that is willing to do anything for anyone. She's a star. Good job, Mrs. Milligan. Amber is amazing. I have never known a teacher to go so above and beyond for her students. I feel so lucky to not only teach beside her, but to get to learn from her every single day. There is nobody more deserving of this award. 
Amber is such a hard worker when it comes to making PowerPoints or applied learning activities for her students. She always has a way of making them engaging and exciting for all of the kids. And um, she just makes all of us, her whole team, um, just motivated and inspires us to become a better teacher every day. Well, I want to say congratulations to Melissa Nitz uh, for being our West Park Educator of the Year. Melissa is teaching in our resource room in special education. Um, there are many good qualities about Melissa Nitz and many reasons why she's deserving of this award. Uh, probably one that sticks out the most is I don't think she has a selfish bone in her body. She's always willing to do whatever needs to be done uh, for the benefit of her kids, for the benefit of her assistants in her classroom, uh, and for the benefit of the rest of the staff. She's very flexible, um, but she is so focused on doing a really good job for the kids. And um, that's what it's all about. Uh, the second thing is this is her first year in SPED. She was kindergarten for about four or five years before that. The transition that she's made to SPED has been phenomenal. Um, our resource room program has maybe struggled for the last several years for various reasons. Melissa has come right into that program, uh, put things in order, straightened things out, isn't afraid to ask questions, isn't afraid to make hard decisions uh, with assistance. Um, she has really proven to be a, a really good teacher, especially for the first time in the SPED program and resource room at West Park. So congratulations to Melissa Nitz. Our staff and students are very proud of you. Melissa, you're very deserving. Congratulations, Loretta Ferrer. Oh, knowing that that came across that you won, oh, filled with joy. And I want everybody else to know, Loretta busts her tail end and this lady, oh, how I appreciate she gets to know her students, she gets to know her families. Not only that, she brings that information back to the staff here in this building. And when we get that additional information, we can then assist the students even more. But you know what, we need to talk a little bit more about our program because the newcomer program is its own unique entity and it's its own unique entity and successful because of Loretta and who works with Loretta. And those additional pieces she does of home visits and dropping off materials and making those additional phone calls, all of that extra work is where I get even more excited and even more giddy because there's not anybody else I think is in better to win this than you, Loretta. So congratulations. I'm so glad you got this award. And you know what? Keep up the great work. Normally when we do Educator of the Year, we hide the family and the friends back here before we sneak them out. So what we're trying to keep a secret is our Educator of the Year. And it is my honor to introduce Sandstone Middle School's Educator of the Year, Mrs. Renee Bartley. And I'd just like to say that Mrs. Bartley is a veteran teacher, but she's open to innovative new ideas. She has the patience of a saint. She is a kind and caring, supportive colleague. And when it comes to student learning in the classroom, she is a magician. It is our absolute pleasure to have her as Sandstone Middle School's Educator of the Year. Just want to say congratulations, Renee Bartley. Um, even though you're a quiet leader, you are a leader that leads by example. You do a great job in this building. Keep up the great work. And again, congratulations.
ladies and gentlemen, you were voted Educator of the Year. <laughs> All right, no way. <laughs> Thank you. Well, and that smile, even you're showing right now, is one of the is one of the things that teachers said that when they, especially during COVID. Uh, that they said about you know you always had a smile had a smile you have a smile when you walk, when they walk in your room um, and, and I think furthermore you know one of the testaments especially during COVID is you know with, with the kids it's just it's still, it's still kind of sincere but down my spine uh, with what you did and I mean and many of the teachers appreciate it and, and, we, and we know the kids did and furthermore I think the parents really really appreciate it so congratulations thank you it's really nice. Yay! Congratulations to the District Office Educator of the Year, John Nitz. John is a school psychologist for the Hermiston School District and has been with us for quite a few years. He's the leader of the school psychologist slash evaluation specialist team, and he also provides a lot of leadership throughout the entire special programs department. John is always nice and kind. He has a real way with helping to uh, alleviate the concerns and worries of parents. Um, he's a great partner for our team and he's a great asset to our district. So thanks John for all that you do to help our students learn and grow here at Hermiston School District. So I'm here to surprise the district educator of the year. So come with me. Okay. It's a secret, so make sure you tiptoe. Roger Berger! Congratulations! <laughs> I am here to tell you that you have been selected as the Hermiston School District Educator of the Year! Yay! Have this fabulous candy basket for you. It may have had a few more things in it before I drove over here. <laughs> Well, that's what? good. Yeah. I don't yeah. Congratulations, anyway. Uh, so, surprise! Mr. Roger Berger is the Hermiston School District Educator of the Year, and I could not be more thrilled to be here than I am right now. Roger, you have been a fierce advocate for students. You find opportunities for all of our kids to be involved. You have almost single-handedly grown all of our CTE programs with your passion for our kids and for opportunities for kids. Rarely, actually, if he didn't have a mask on, do you see this guy without a smile on his face and a cookie or some other baked good in his hand. So this is fitting. But congratulations, Roger. And a slight heart attack from the, uh, well, the introduction. Uh, maybe this is a good opportunity for our health services kids. So there's that. Uh, thank you for all you do for Hermiston, for Hermiston kids. You make Hermiston High School a great place to be. And I'm so proud of you and appreciate the volume of hard work. Thank you very much. Mr. Spoo was a part of this surprise and he lured Mr. Berger into this meeting by saying we were talking about hybrid instruction for our secondary students. Um, and actually now Mr. Berger has a full list of things. So I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Spoo for you guys to have this conversation about all the amazing things and ideas that Mr. Berger has for kids when we get to have them back. Have a great weekend. There's a lot of lines. People are telling me they're trying to do things that they're not doing. It's very confusing. 